I'm going to give you a quick run through of the models that you missed in the last 10 days. These are 10 handpicked models. This is not going to be elaborate, rather just a very fast run through of all the models that you should be probably looking at right now. We're going to start with Cohere Command R+. Cohere Command R+, is their best state-of-the-art model and they decided to open source this model. This model comes with 104 billion parameter model and uh, this is uh, much better than in terms of throughput and latency, much better than the other model that they've got which is Command R. This is like the younger brother and Command R plus is like the elder brother and uh, Command R is with a 35 billion parameter model. So the key features are uh, this model uses GQA grouped query attention that gained some popularity starting with Mistral. It also comes with 128,000 context window, which is exactly why people love this model because this is great for RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. It's got multilingual capability, trained in 23 languages and also evaluated in 10 languages. Quite versatile for RAG capability and it also does other things that typically models do these days. One very important thing is it supports a citation. So if you do RAG, you can basically give citation and also tool execution and structured output. You can find the model on Hugging Faces Model Hub and also they have got official spaces for you to play with the model. The catch is the model is CC by NC. That means you can use this model for non-commercial purpose. The next one is from China, Quen2 VL. This is a vision language model. It comes with two different sizes. 7 billion and 2 billion parameter model. It's got good video understanding which can understand up to 20 minutes of video content. It supports multi-modal uh, rope, R-O-P-E. So this is a technique that people have been using to increase the context size of the model. So rotational positional encoding, something like that. And it also supports a function calling. So this is also a model that has been open source with permissive license available on Hugging Face. The next one is from a very big corporation. It's Salesforce and the model is not a text model or a vision model. It's called a LAM. This is a term that has been popularized by the company called Rabbit. Anybody has Rabbit at this point? I don't know. Large action model. So the model name is XLAM. So this is Salesforce's own large action model that has been designed for enhanced decision making and also AI agent use cases. So it supports up to 64,000 context window and it can help you in turning user intention or translating user intention into executable actions. The model different sizes including an 8x 7 billion parameter model and also the other variants are available on Hugging Faces model. The next one is called Zephira. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly or you can call it Zephira. It's a 1.2 billion parameter model. This is a, a state space model. It's a hybrid state space model. That means it's not a pure play transformer model like the other models that we discussed. This is a combination of what we have in the Mamba world and also in the transformer world. So this model, according to them, outperforms a lot of existing models in the same parameter range. It beats Gemma 2 billion parameter model that's from Google, Phi 1.5 that is from Microsoft. So it uses Mamba 2 and LoRa projectors for improved attention. So it still uses attention, but uses Mamba 2. It builds on top of Mamba 2 and also has got its own LoRa projectors. Definitely something that uh, you should look into if you are interested in the alternative architectures. The next one is a Rene 1.3 billion parameter model. This is once again an alternative architecture. It's an SSM model, state space model. It's got impressive inference speed and efficiency. It can generate approximately up to 80 to 120 tokens per second. And it is also, they have released kernels optimized for MLX, which is a Mac only Apple Silicon specific framework. It's like NumPy for Mac, Apple Silicon Mac, and also for PyTorch. If you were to use this model, primarily for on-device capability, then this is a good choice. 
The next one is a video generation model that has been quite viral for quite a while. It's called COG Video X. It's a 5 billion parameter model and the model comes with open weight and it offers impressive video generation capability. So it, according to them, it matches the leading performances models like uh, Luma, Runway, I'm not sure if this model exactly matches that performance, but still uh, probably one of the best open models that we have got. Good thing is it's got efficient generation. That means even with less than 10 GB of VRAM graphics memory, you can re generate videos. Uh, they've got a model available on Hugging Face for you to try. The next one is from Microsoft. It's a Fi 3.5 mini. So that comes with a multilingual support and also um, they have released a bunch of other Fi variants like Fi M MOE mixture of expert model. Uh, it's, it's, it's interesting to see that Microsoft is continuing to invest in Fi 3.5, oh, sorry, Fi series of models, but I'm just questioning who is using it. So if you happen to use Fi model, let me know in the comment section. The next one is Jamba 1.5. So this is from AI 21 labs. We already have covered when they released Jamba model or when they announced Jamba model, but they did not release it. But now they have decided to release Jamba large, which is the 1.5 and the Jamba mini. Both of the models are available on Hugging Faces model up as open weight. If you were to use it, you can use it. So we have seen so for three um, alternative architectures, uh, the Zephyr, Zephyra one, the Rene one, and now we have got the Jamba one. So all these three models are not a pure play, let's say in this particular case, uh, transformer based architecture. It comes with alternative architecture as well. So the final one in this list is Google's Gemini 1.5 flash. Gemini 1.5 flash 8 billion parameter model and Gemini's new 1.5 pro experimental model. So Google is going hard on these models. None of these are open models, but all these models are available for you to use in Google AI studio. So definitely you should check it out. It comes with a lot of advancements, especially the Gemini 1.5 of pro experimental is something that they claim to be good with coding task i might do a comparison video between this claude and um, chat gpt's gpt4 o but these are some of the important models that you missed in the last few weeks uh, if you have any thoughts or information let me know in the comment section otherwise subscribe to the channel be a great help see you in another video happy prompting